Hello and welcome to the third part of this build. Now we have to project the dynamic component opt out. I will go for the complex way, so adding also the Jenniker. And we start with the hull. Then we can remove it. We can study the canting keel system. That will be organized in this way. Then we can add the rudder mechanism as well on the engine. Then the main sail and the jib circuit. As well as the Jenniker system. This is a bit more complex. So we'll have the electric winch on the back. And another electric winch for the furling system. This is the final view. We can see the electric motor in place with the linear shaft and the big canting keel servo. Also rudder servo is mounted. At this point we can cut the deck from plywood and cut the openings. Then cut the supports of the structures and glue the deck in place. Again some sanding to even out the deck joint in this case of the transom. Now we can proceed manufacturing the superstructure, starting with 3D printing the shape, then gluing it together and adding the tech on the top. A little bit of plaster is always needed and we can proceed painting the whole thing. Then we can place the gasket for the opening and begin the planking of the deck.
Before painting, I wanted to be sure that there were no leaks, so I tried the hole in the middle of my city and surprisingly everything went good. Now one of the most difficult but more satisfying part, so painting the hull with the double layer technique. With the help of the laser engraver we can make a stencil of the name that is the 6 in Japanese. And after a bit of polishing, that is the final result. Everything is almost ready, we can prepare the rigging. And why not CNC machine the base of the mast? Here you see me cracking a perfectly usable end mill because I used the wrong G code file. Here runs the right one. and at last paint everything in black.
the last part of the building is finished in the next video we'll see the sea trials and the sailing tests so now don't be lazy and subscribe